All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode number 30 now of the Coders Startup Podcast. Thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, as always, I'm joined by the right-hand man, Carter the Marketer Johnson. How you doing, buddy? I'm good, man. I'm good. I like your rocking a collar too. I think this is like first time and maybe the second time in like our uh, three-year history that I've seen you in a collar. So yeah, I've been uh, I've been going through or undergoing a, a wardrobe change, if you will. I'm trying to dress more appropriately for my age because all I ever do is <laughs> t-shirts and hoodies and stuff. And it's good to have you know a little bit of both um, in terms of you know having sort of a more, I guess not business casual, but a little bit more dressy casual type clothes, right? So it's uh, interesting you bring that up because I have another buddy and he is going through, uh, he basically hired someone to like redo his wardrobe and stuff mm -hmm. and like help him figure out, you know, what looks best on him, the type of fit and all. And one of the real big reasons he did it was uh, he like found all this, this research and stuff that supported the idea that uh, basically, you know, it, it basically can help with your confidence and leading to that person who you want to be. So that's why. Absolutely. That's why. And, and we're going on this little tangent. We, I didn't realize we we're going to go on this tangent, but I think it's worth noting um, that I got, I got hit with a uh, Facebook ad and it's kind of in line with what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be talking about ads, but we're going to be talking about YouTube ads specifically. But I got hit with a Facebook ad yesterday <clears throat> with a, uh, something for something called the five, four club. So it's five yeah. four yeah, I've heard of it. Mm -hmm. Had never heard of that before. Five four is spelled out F I V E F O U R clo um was it clothing.com. And it's like sixty bucks a month and they you can like choose your style and they'll just send you apparently outfits that are perfectly matched and coordinated and stuff. And I think that's such a great idea because guys we don't like going out and shopping. Like uh, I've only recently been like starting to do that kind of thing and maybe enjoying it a little bit, but I still don't actively go out and get excited about shopping. So I think this is just a brilliant idea for, um, you know, a, a sort of a membership type website. And I'm, I'm really honestly thinking about joining. So I don't know how douchey it is or not. And I don't know <laughs> how good the, um, the reviews are on it. It definitely looks a bit douchey, but uh, who knows? I, I, I haven't watched their, their well, video. There's, and there's like trunk club. There's, there's a couple out there. So, oh yeah. So there you yeah. go. There's Dress our, to impress. Side tidbit. Yep. Yeah. Get, get the confidence up. But anyway, Clearly paid advertising works because I'm, I'm considering signing up for this, you know, $60 a month plan. Um, so for me, I mean, I've, I've been sort of singing the praises of paid advertising for a little while now uh, because I think it's such a great way to quickly grow your revenue if you've got money to invest. Um, I've typically been pitching the Facebook ads uh, to you guys uh, of late, I suppose. But um, th there's another platform that uh, is actually a lot cheaper because... It, it works. I think it's a bid system. Is it not? Um, it is. It, it is. is. It's a bidding it's like system. Of, yeah. So, I mean, I think all these ad systems are typically bidding systems. Uh, so the ad will be shown to the highest bidder type of thing, um, more or less. But and so, so basically why you, uh, we're going to be talking about YouTube ads, why YouTube ad ads are more affordable than Facebook ads is because there's just less people using them. Um, I mean, in, in, you go back in the history of history, when you start with Google, um, uh, text advertising and the, uh, what's it called AdWords advertising, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Google AdWords used to be dirt cheap to advertise with Google AdWords because no one was advertising. So if there's no one advertising, the bids can be very low. Therefore, you can get cheap, cheap ads. Uh, same kind of landscape is happening right now in the YouTube um, sphere. I don't know, the, the paid advertising um, branch of YouTube, it's, it's, it's just cheap right now. Um, so I think it's a great... Um, opportunity for all of us to learn, first of all, learn how to do it and just, you know, dabble a little bit, dip our foot in those waters and, and just play around with it and, and just see how it goes. Um, so I've heard a little bit about YouTube, YouTube ads via some podcasts and I'll, I'll, you know, mention the podcast in a second. I forget the name of it, but I'll, I'll hand it over to Carter here to talk a little bit more about his experience uh, with YouTube ads because he's recently set up a campaign and sort of dipped his toes in the water. So take it away, my man. Yeah. Yeah. So full disclosure, I would not say we are anywhere near a success mark as far as the actual um, YouTube ads go. But I will give you just the tidbits of why uh, we're so interested in really invested in learning this channel, uh, as well as just some of the things that we've picked up along the way. Uh, as you were saying, Trevor, you know, one of the big things is it's a cheaper platform. 
And if you look at the comparisons of kind of the same, um, the same targets that you're, that you would be bidding on for like AdWords, it's literally like an eighth of the cost. Uh, and obviously, yeah, yeah. Uh, for, for what we're targeting. And I've seen, you know, um, I've seen tons of people say that it's cheaper. I've seen people say that it's a little bit more expensive, but for us, it's about an eighth. Um, but uh, you think about the friction point and really where it resides is it's a lot harder to make a video than it is just to queue up you know, text editor and write out an ad. Uh, so that's really where you're seeing the friction and why I think the, the advertising platform isn't as flooded. Now, that will probably completely change you know, in a few years, uh, if not a few months, just because so many people are are getting more used to recording themselves or using a video editing software or one of those, you know, all in one box type solutions like, um, uh, Powtown or what, what's the one that you always use that, and I used it actually. Powtoon, is that what you mean? Powtoon, Powtoon. I always call it Powtown, whatever. Yeah. P O W T O O N. I think anyway, Powtoon. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Is that right? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, powtoon.com. So, you know, more people are going to be making videos. More ads are going to get out there. Uh, but yeah, a few tidbits, and I'm going to just start rattling things off as they come to mind. Sure. Um, a, few, a few notes. Um, so one of the big things uh, that's that's cool that you can do with these YouTube um, ads is you can actually really uh, leverage it to create a, a brand because you're only charged if it's a, if you do the, what's called true view. So the ads playing, those are all those ads you see before your actual video starts and people can skip over after five seconds, seven seconds, something like that. Um, if you are doing a true view ad, you only get charged, um, or I'm sorry, an in stream ad, you only get charged for what's called a true view. And a true view, uh, it either, uh, it means if the user actually watches your ad for over 30 seconds, if it's a video that's longer than 30 seconds, or if it's less than 30 seconds, they watch um, simply just half of that, that actual ad. So what's cool about this is you can actually um, have all these ads running that you know, you're stating your brand or your face is front and center that you're not even being charged for. Uh, because people are, you know, they're seeing it and they're clicking over. Um, and there's been a lot of cool studies, and this is what piqued my interest uh, from the start, that uh, when people do see all this stuff in the beginning, it's something like uh, one organization found they were like 30% more likely when they do finally click on the ad to actually opt in or take that offer. So really, really cool stuff there. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. The next thing, when you're doing these types of ads, um, it's, it's really important to add a call to action in the beginning and speak directly, uh, to whoever it is you're targeting. So if you're targeting programmers, you'd be like, Hey programmers, listen up, say that immediately. Um, and then you can also like what we're doing is saying, if you're not a programmer, go ahead, skip over this video and enjoy, or skip over this ad and enjoy your video. And it's a great way to not get charged for anyone just leaving it running. Um, and then the other side of that is you actually, if you can get them to click on the ad before um, it, it goes, goes, yeah, it goes to the, the true view, then you're actually getting free clicks, which is, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so, you know, experiment with that and you can put call to actions there. Now, I will say it's, it's kind of funny because uh, Trevor and I had talked earlier this week about doing this topic and, and I was hesitant because I hate talking about something where I feel like, you know, we haven't cracked the code, so to speak. Um, but what's even, even better is that this, uh, this actual um, ad that we've been running today, I got a letter and it said that the ad was paused until we correct something on the landing page. Um, so, you know, like any ad campaign, they have all these different regulations and stuff. And they said ours was about relevancy. Um, which I don't really understand because it's pretty transparent from the ad to the landing page, what it is we're trying to get people to opt into. So we're going to have to do some digging there. Um, but yeah, just to give you an idea of our numbers. Um, so, you know, I think the last time I looked at our analytics, we had spent, it was something small, something like $30. And this is like, 
you know, thirty dollars in Facebook, you can run through that thing in hours, like right? because you're paying two, three bucks a click. Um, so we've spent somewhere around thirty dollars, and uh, we've had a hundred and two unique visitors. That's crazy. So a pretty awesome, but our landing page isn't converting. So it's yeah. like Trevor always says: know your numbers, know your numbers. Um, so we got to figure out that portion, and of course, we got to figure out how to get them back online and, and doing all that stuff. Yeah, um, but I think I think with respect to this stuff, I mean, you know, you know, we're being transparent here. I have not yet set up a YouTube ad campaign, mm-hmm. and Carter just started doing his, and obviously, he hasn't seen success from it yet. Um, mm-hmm. But that by no means uh, means that you you are not going to see success with this platform. So um, mm-hmm. that's why we want to just talk about the important. Um, Points. Another, oh, yeah, it's, yeah. Another thing that's really, really cool about this. Uh, there's so much stuff to to go in. Um, so if you don't, if you're not good at videos, if you don't want to make something, um, you can use what's called the Common Creative License videos. You can actually use those for your ads. So there's some like templates out there of people like, hey, you need marketing. Well, check us out. Blah blah blah. And you could actually use that as your video ad, and then you know, route it to your own URL. Um, so that's something. Or with a common creative uh, license, you can actually uh, slice and dice the videos. So if you really like something you can see uh, and you can figure out how to kind of uh, input your own brand and stuff, you can certainly do that. I think um, you mean, uh, is it Creative Commons license? Is that what you what, mean? What am I saying? You're, you're, you're dyslexing, dyslexicking it. It's whatever common you're... Creative. Common creative, yeah. Creative commons. <laughs> oh man, well, creative commons, yeah. There you go. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing, um, man, what was it? It was on the tip of my tongue. It's uh, okay. I can jump in if you don't remember. Jump in, jump in. Okay. I'll remember it. I, I just want to go back and and reiterate some of the facts that you just sort of blew through because these are really important facts to talk about uh, and to really understand. Um, is like you were saying, the true view. So you only pay for a true view. So the true view, like you said, it's, it's somehow defined as if your video is longer than 30 seconds, um, then anyone who watches uh, and hits that 30 second mark, then you'll be uh, charged for it. But I believe, like you said, that's pretty much the only time that you're going to be charged for it. Um, so there's tricks in, that you can use to take advantage of that that I've heard of uh, that just seem like cheating right now. Um, so one of the things I've seen or heard about is, you know, you have that first five seconds where, you know, people are, are forced to watch your ad before they can click the skip button. Um, so that's a great time, like, like you said, to, uh, first of all, to qualify leads or disqualify leads. Um, or uh, I remember, Carter, you and, you and I were talking about this way back when, and you said that that what what you know what an amazing way to build brand awareness in that first five seconds. You could just hammer them with your brand for that first five seconds and never pay, or at least probably not pay very much uh, to hammer people and get them familiar with your brand name. Um, I got to interject right there, man. Okay, I got to. I want you to think about something, and this is something that I've tried to explain, and I'm working on my explanations when it when it comes to client interaction. We have clients who pay thousands upon thousands for radio segments. Mm. All that is, is, you know, when you're driving your car, you're hearing the the radio. Uh, And it's essentially the exact same play on the YouTube side. And so to give you, to give you um, an instant, you know, an example, we we've had, I think something like there's 320,000 impressions, 320,000 times that that ad has started. So if you compare that to, you know, what you're getting in terms of radio advertising, like I think it's a hands down, it's, it's like an arbitrage opportunity. Oh yeah. It's just insane. And you can't really, I mean, in the radio, you can't click something and take, you know, take them, take them to a landing page. It's the whole sale is about branding. Um, so I, yeah, just to jump in while you were, while you were saying that. Hugely valuable YouTube ads are, is what I believe you're getting at there. And, um, and I'm like, I'm so excited to try this stuff out and I'm just, I'm in the, in the process of still creating a, a course. I'm doing a course on JavaScript and, um, I've just been really, I've been focusing on it and I've been saying, I've been, I've been trying to tell myself not to get unfocused. And I've been saying, you got to finish this before you get on and do other stuff in your business, get it done. Then you can move on. So I'm, I'm just, I'm chomping at the bit to try this YouTube ad stuff out. Um, 
But anyway, I, I, I meant to get back to the, the original point, which was one of the tricks you can use uh, is usually, like, like I said, you only pay when you hit that 30 second mark. So a lot of people, what they do is they, they you know, go through their ad, they do all this stuff, their spiel, they get through the whole thing. Um, and, and at the 25 second mark, the ad finishes. So the, the talking voice or whatever it is that you have and the moving text and pictures and all that stuff end. And they, all that you see is like a click here button that maybe is like, you know, sort of, um, uh, th- what's the word? Like getting bigger throbbing. and smaller, big and throbbing, I guess. I just, I found that that was a bit, anyway, whatever. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the, the button is there and it's grabbing your, it's attention grabbing uh, mm-hmm. for the last five seconds before the 30 second mark. So between seconds 25 and 29, essentially, um, it's just no one's talking, no, no music is playing maybe. And it's just a button saying, Hey, click me. So you're just, you're, you're, it's almost like cheating. Um, cause who's going to li- literally sit there for five seconds and, and just watch that as it happened. Like let's do some silence for five seconds and, and just feel like what that feels like for five seconds. Ready? I can't. Like that was, that's a that long is. pause. That that's someone sense. like, people I think it was really like three and a half. That was three and a half. Anyway. Um, so the point is, is that's a great way to sort of trick the system. And who knows if, if YouTube, uh, I guess Google is going to change the way, uh, they, they, you know, charge for the ads. Um, cause I really think that the way it's set up right now, it's really set up in our favor as entrepreneurs. So, um, I'm yeah. just, like I said, I'm really excited about it's that. It's a win-win on both sides because I saw the comparison of what it's, it's basically like YouTube services enough people to reach what is equivalent to the Super Bowl audience and they do it every day or something. It's, That's crazy. I, I, I wish I had the, the exact figures because it was something I was just like, wow. Um, the other really cool thing we're seeing. Uh, so get this, when you go into targeting, when you, when you start doing your ads, of course you can target and you can target by interest, which I have to say we're not getting too great of results with, but you can also target the display network. Um, and what's cool about this is like we listed Forbes as one of the websites we want to be displayed on. When our video, when our ad is shown on Forbes, we're getting a 27% click through rate. Hmm. 27% click through. 27% That's click through. Like to put that into perspective for for you guys, like right now I have a 3% click through rate on one of my ads that I've been running for quite some time now. And that is like unbelievably good. 3%. I couldn't. Yeah, I so couldn't. So twenty-seven percent doesn't even. I can't even compute that. I yeah, I couldn't even believe it. And it could just be because we haven't done it, you know, for a while. Long enough. Yeah. Just, yeah, we're getting lucky, but that's fine. But uh, the yeah. point, the point is, like, you can segment out and think about also when you're when you're creating your brand, like, the average person doesn't understand that these videos are not like by force. <laughs> if that makes sense, you know what I mean? Sure. So, sure. For them to go on an authoritative site like Forbes and they're reading and they see this video pop up, essentially you're, you're leveraging that authority that Forbes has to mm-hmm. elevate your brand. So you've already elevated the perception of your services just by being on a site that they, they recognize as a notable leader. Uh, so that is really, really cool. The other cool thing you can do. You can actually, anyone who has the monetization feature on their YouTube videos, which is like 99% of YouTube videos, you can advertise directly on their videos. So let's say your competitor out there has some training course or you know whatever it is. You can pick their stuff and actually advertise on their videos and leverage what work they're doing. So that's, that's super cool. So too. what you're saying is you can, you can actually target a specific video? Is that what you can do? Yep. A specific I, video, a specific channel. Um, yeah. Oh, even a whole oh, channel. Yeah. Oh, that's powerful. I like that. So a lot of cool stuff, which that's why I'm so excited and why I want to figure it out. Cause yeah. it's, uh, you know, my weakness is making videos. Like I, it's tough. It's tough. And it's, it, you know, it definitely would be worth investing some money and getting some stuff done right that, that we know would convert. Um, and obviously, I want to figure out how to get our ad back up and running. Yeah, that's important. Uh, I also mentioned I wanted to follow up on, on something I finally found on my phone, my podcast list here. Um, it's, there's a podcast I would recommend you guys listen to if you really want to get into YouTube traffic and, and paid advertising in general. Um, or sorry, YouTube paid advertising, not YouTube traffic. Um, then you need to check out The Art of Paid Traffic. 
Um, this is by Rick Mulready, who's very n well known for his Facebook training course, um, which I've never taken it personally, but I hear it's, it's amazing. It's very hardcore on, on Facebook ads. He doesn't talk about any of the stuff around Facebook, like how to create a lead magnet and how to create a good sales funnel and how to, it's just Facebook it's ads. So um, I've heard it's great. Uh, but again, I've never taken it before, so I can't say for, for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, The Art of Paid Traffic is a podcast that's absolutely free to listen to. Um, such amazing information about YouTube uh, advertising. So, I mean, use this uh, episode as sort of a springboard to say, okay, that's interesting. I like what I'm hearing. Um, great opportunity there. I'm not really afraid of videos. Um, or even if you are afraid of videos, God, it's so much. It's so worth doing it. Even if you're just doing... Um, you know, like a, a PowerPoint presentation, slide by slide type, like you don't have to put your face on the video if you don't want to. Um, you can go to powtoon.com uh, or powtoons.com. I forget which one it is. And, uh, and you can create a, a, a video of a car, a cartoon video, right? It's yeah. you, you pay per month for that uh, or it's, there's yearly subscription. It's not ridiculous. Um, mm -hmm. And you can just create a cartoon video. You don't even have to talk yourself um, and, and you can do this. So um, there's so many things that you can do to create um, the, these videos and, and, and make, you know, powerful and effective advertising videos through YouTube. So, um, and if, if anyone out there, uh, is currently doing this, like tell us what you're doing, tell us what results you're seeing, any insight you have. Um, I'd love to hear from other people just in terms of, you know, their success stories or, or challenges and roadblocks because we're kind of all in the same boat. Absolutely. So you can go to, what is it? Coderstartup.com forward slash 30, as this is episode number 30 officially. Um, and you can yeah leave a comment there. And, uh, and I, I tend to check the comments every few days. So if we miss one, uh, if you don't hear back from us within 24 hours, it's just because I'm lazy. I apologize. Uh, I got stuff to do. So uh, yeah, leave a comment there and uh, we'll get back to you ASAP. Um, always love hearing from you guys. Now, is there anything that you'd like to, um, to also mention? Is there anything on your list before we sort of uh, wrap up this episode at all? Uh, I don't believe so. Am I missing anything? No, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's just about, you know, becoming aware that this, this paid advertising platform with, with uh, YouTube is very lucrative. Um, it's not too difficult to jump into. One thing I would ask you is, do you use any software that helps you sort of create these, these ads and put them onto uh, the YouTube network at all? Mm, you, uh, in terms of software, honestly, I did. So this is what I did. I went to um, Powtoons or Powtoons. <laughs> Powtoons. Powtoons, yes. Yeah. Uh, made a video, um, you know, used one of their actual like templates that looked really good and just inputted our data and all this other stuff. And then uh, I did a voiceover for it. Um, and you can upload the voiceover right there. Uh, and then from there, um, what did I do in terms of, it, you like know, how did you, how did you get the, 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 the video? So you've made the video. How do you get it onto YouTube? Right? How do you get it into their paid advertising platform? Yeah. So the what you have to do is upload it as a YouTube video, and okay. um, you can do it right from uh, Poundtoons or whatever. And uh, from there, it's really easy. You set up basically if you already have an AdWord account, then you're good to go. If not, make sure you snag their you know free giveaway. I think they'll give you like seventy five bucks after you spend twenty five on YouTube. Um, and uh, you set up the account, you know, set up, link up your billing and stuff. It'll take about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, and from there, it's really easy. All you do is actually copy and paste the entire URL that you want for the ad and YouTube does the rest. Uh, and then you can go into actual AdWords and that's where you can do the targeting. So you can, you know, age, okay. gender, interest, um, their display network, channels, right. YouTube channels, all that stuff. Right. And, um, what you'll hear about is, uh, uh first of all, that's, that's google.com slash AdWords, I believe is the URL to get in there and, and create your account and everything. For those of you who don't know, um, uh, search, search YouTube advertising because that's the landing page that they'll give you a coupon on. Oh, there um, we go. Perfect. Yeah. Nice. Um, but, uh, there, I know there is the reason why I, I, that was sort of a leading question I'd asked about using software because I remember hearing, uh, Rick from, uh, Rick Mulready from the art of paid traffic podcast. Um, he, he had someone on who talked about using some sort of software. Um, it's like a software as a service type app uh, through the web. Um, and they just, it makes the whole process of 
getting your video live into YouTube, uh, it makes that whole process apparently much, much simpler and easier. And I was mm-hmm. trying to find um, what the name of the, that software was um, mm-hmm. before we started, but I couldn't find it. And I you know, didn't have enough time to go through and listen to those videos. So I do know there's software out there um, mm-hmm. that you can use to make it easier, but I believe you need to pay for it. I don't know how much it is. Unfortunately, I can't be of much help right now, but that's why I'm referring you uh, as a resource over to the Art of Paid Traffic. Check it out as a podcast. It's fantastic. It, is, it goes beyond um, just the YouTube advertising. He does Facebook advertising and he does all sorts of different advertising, um, all focusing on paid advertising, obviously. So um, great podcast. So that's what you can use us as a springboard to, to learning through his podcast. Um, cool. So I think it's pretty good. I think that's, that's a good little, very quick overview uh, about YouTube ads. And uh, if you don't have anything to add in the end, we can sort of wrap things up. No, I'd love to get a specialist on here that we could just pick their brain. You know what I mean? Like For sure. well, maybe we can get Rick Mulready. I doubt it, but we could give it a shot. Okay. See what happens. Reach out to him see what yeah. happens. It's maybe. true. We've had Pat Flynn. We've had John Lee Dumas. Why I not? was going to say, yeah, we have some big names. So Boom. That's right. We're, we're, uh, Anyway, don't want to stroke my own ego here. So, um, yeah, maybe we, we could set that up. Who knows? But what for sure, what I can promise you is that I am going to be personally trying out this YouTube ad stuff, and uh, whatever it is that I learn from my experience in the in hopefully near future, uh, I will certainly bring that back onto this podcast and share it with you guys. And too. I can't wait for that because you're so much better than I am. Than I am. <laughs> like, this is the data point. This is what we need to focus on. This is what we need to fix. And I'm like, well, it's not quite working yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> broad strokes. So. Yeah. Who knows? We'll see. Hopefully it goes well. So, um, fantastic. So then again, uh, coderstartup.com forward slash 30. Uh, you can check out the show notes for the episode. Um, and what about you, Carter? Have you, have you updated your uh, blog of late or have you been too busy? I have, I have just released a new article in there. So now I, I, I do remember talking a little bit about an announcement you were going to yes, make. Yes. Are, are we actually going to make that can. announcement? We can. So, um, exciting stuff. Uh, we actually, my company, um, we basically finally pulled the trigger and we were like, Hey, we got to get our blog out there. Um, and we really wanted a way that basically brought the most value to everyone reading. Um, so we, we decided let's take the approach of versus our services being front and center. Uh, let's make it, you know, user, user driven content that really is just awesome in terms of value. And then you're going to have to, to search for, for our actual uh, services. So where a lot of websites, you know, you have all their services and then you have a little blog tab. Ours is reverse. It's a huge blog tab, a uh, huge blog with a little service tab. Um, anyways, though, uh, definitely check it out. I, I recommend you jump on uh, our list because we're going to have tons and tons of great content. And then if you yourself are publishing content, you can actually submit it to the site. Uh, and we'll publish it, utilize our distribution to actually get it out there. So So very cool stuff there. Uh, Also, I said I'd do a giveaway. So um, we'll say pretty much anyone from a month of when this goes live. Let's do that because it's, you know, I I feel like there are people who who watch this at all different stages. So if you go over and if you uh, subscribe to our list, basically just send me an email letting me know that you came from uh, this podcast. And uh, we're going to be drawing two people, so not just one, two people. My team are going to go through, do a full audit for any website that you have. And we're going to help you with your SEO, um, something we do for a lot of clients who pay us a lot of money. So we're going to do it for you. Uh, we'll get you all set up with your on-page stuff, making sure everything's good and in line. So, so and I think that this, uh, this show is probably going to go live on May 28th, I believe. Perfect. So do you want to just make it to the end of June, June 30th? Will yeah. Be the, yeah, let's do it till, yeah, you have until July. Uh, and, uh, of course, the website, I don't even know. If we yeah, we should need to mention that, yeah. Unitedbusinessleaders.com. So. Unitedbusinessleaders.com. Yeah. And, uh, and that's where they can go and sign up for this contest as well? Yeah. Yeah, you'll see, I mean, you'll see the sign up. As soon as you sign up, just send me an email. Uh, You can either reply directly to the uh, confirmation email you receive, Mm -hmm. uh, or you can send me an email directly at carter Carter at unitedbusinessleaders.com. Sweet. And just say you you came from the... uh... The Coder Startup hey, Podcast. You're a friend of the Coder Startup Podcast. Boom. And I just, I just loaded up on my computer here, unitedbusinessleaders.com. God, this is a beautiful looking website. You I think like it? It, this like really it? came out quite nice. I really, I, yeah. love, I well, think 
you know, I was at one point like tearing my eyeballs out because I was going crazy with it. Um, yeah. And it's, and just to kind of explain the strategy uh, before, you know, it's, it's definitely uh, we're curating content. So we're looking for the absolute best out there. Uh, Cause we, you know, we know even the best bloggers don't go 10 for 10 on all their posts. So mm-hmm. we, we try to find the best absolute content and put it out there. Um, so it's really just a great digest for you. You don't have to jump from blog to blog to blog trying to find good stuff. We're going to have it all there for you. So check and it, it even out. has like ratings and stuff, right? You can have, you can see how oh, good yeah. the ratings are from like the author or not the authors. The yeah. Click around on the articles we have and basically how it's set up and formatted is uh, we have uh, three little tidbits. Um, it starts with how long the read is. So estimated reading time. Uh, why you should read this. We're going to tell you exactly you know, why it's important. And then one action item you can take after reading it. Uh, and then, of course, we actually have a rating system uh, where we actually rate it and then you can rate it. Uh, basically just asking how good of a read it was in your opinion, uh, asking you if it helps you in your business, and then how actionable it is. So you can get good little snippets before you invest all the time in actually reading the resource. That's cool. I, I think I'm just going to go through and read some of these things just so I can add my own ratings. Cause I think it's so cool please that you do. can do that. <laughs> please do. Rate them, man. Rate please. them. And, uh, yeah. Subscribe if you uh, haven't already. So. so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's your call to action for today. Uh, forget about our show notes. Go over to unitedbusinessleaders.com. <laughs> sign up for that email list and be sure to reply uh, to the email you received to let Carter know that you came in from the Coders Startup. And that'll put you into a contest to win uh, a complete site overhaul with respect to your SEO and his team will work with you and like stupidly valuable stuff. So uh, two lucky winners. Do it before... Uh, I guess before July 1st of 2015 um, and, uh, and then we will be good to go. So thanks everyone so much for listening all the way through to the end of this. Hopefully we'll, we'll get you uh, to take action uh, and actually, well, one, visit unitedbusinessleaders.com and two, uh, create your first YouTube ad. So uh, I look forward to hearing from you guys about that. And uh, until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye for now. See ya.